People have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. An implant that can stop those tremors that plague people with the disease. And one Southern California neurosurgeon says that is just the beginning of what that implant could do. This patient is suffering debilitating tremors brought on by Parkinson's disease. But in an instant, the tremors stop completely. I can take a patient with a grade four tremor in the operating room, and we can stop that on a dime. How is it possible? This is no TV parlor trick. It's a cutting edge technology called deep brain stimulation, or DBS. And for Parkinson's patients, it's a lifesaver. It's basically a pacemaker for the brain. Uh, if you think of the cardiac, uh, the heart pacemaker, a lot of people are familiar with that. Think of the same technology, but the wire, instead of going to the heart, the wire goes into the brain. Newport Beach neurosurgeon Dr. Christopher Duma implants suitable Parkinson's patients with an electrode in the brain. It's wired to a generator placed in the chest. The wires are not showing, the generator's not showing, everything's under the skin, it's all invisible. There's still no cure for Parkinson's, an illness that slowly kills sufferers' brain cells. Conventional treatment involves drug medication, but that often comes with side effects. What you see in, you know, the, the movements, the extra movements that we see in patients, that's not Parkinson's, that's over-medication. Uh, like we see with Michael J. Fox, those are him at his best moving uh, in making movements that he can't control it's, it's side effect of medication nancy royce is a patient of dr dumas her parkinson's was treated for years with drugs until she heard about the dbs implant and asked for the surgery and i had had a tremor in my right hand it was so bad i had to sit on my hand and i had trouble eating and i haven't had a tremor since eight years later. And just how much has DBS changed Nancy's life? I probably couldn't have walked in here. I couldn't have sat and talked to you. I might not even have a voice. As Nancy holds a sample of the DBS device implanted in her chest, you can see how steady her hands are. And with her implant, she's been able to put aside her Parkinson's medication altogether. Every doctor I've seen has said they've never seen anybody go off the medicine completely. Dr. Duma says the medical applications for deep brain stimulation are truly limitless. I mean, we're putting these stimulators in now for obsessive compulsive disorder, psychiatric illnesses. Uh, there was a patient on uh, Oprah the other day that had it implanted for obesity. It begins to boggle the mind as to how much we can regulate what's going on in the brain with a stimulator. Deep brain stimulation has given Nancy a new lease on her life. It hasn't allowed her to dance, but there's a reason for that. No, I couldn't <laughs> dance before the Parkinson's. <laughs> but she can do so much more, and this implant has been used in Europe since last August, but only just received FDA approval here in the U.S. We're being told it will be widely available in here beginning in June. But I think it really is so amazing. I think they've just kind of tapped into what that brain stimulator is going to be able to do. The miracles of medicine. Neat stuff. It really is. Right. Yeah, it is good stuff. Weather time. Got some fires burning too, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, though, uh, the weather's cooperative.